friends today in this video we will see some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length him into what are you doing i'm doing the homework of my school so what homework were you given sir has asked me to measure the length of the room for homework mintu how will you measure the length of the room from here till here with my foot length see if i measure the length of the room with my feet then the length of the room is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 15 so the length of this room is equal to 15 foot spans absolutely correct now write the length of this room down in your notebook so the length of my room is 15 foot spans Absolutely correct. Come on, I will give you a few more objects to measure the lengths of. Okay, Chintu. Mintu, how will you measure the length of this carrom board? I can easily measure the length of this carrom board with my hands, right, Chintu? Okay then. Tell me, what is the length of this carrom board? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The length of this carrom board is equal to six hand spans of my palm. Well done, Mintu. Now, if you measure this carrom board using your arm, then what will be its length? Hmm. One, two. And three, the length of this carrom board is three cubit length of my arm. Absolutely correct. So we can say that the length of a cubit of your arm is equal to two hand spans of your palm. Now, can you determine the length of this chess board? The length of this chess board seems to be half of the carrom board. The length of the carrom board is equal to six hand spans, so the chess board would be three hand spans long. Oh wow! Absolutely correct. Children, in this video we saw some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length. In the next video, we will learn some interesting facts about measurement of length.